AWS, one of the most advertised free service that you can find on the internet. I mean, let's be honest here, the promise is good. A always free tier for all users so that every user can get a free server to play on. But there's a problem. You always need a valid credit card. And it's not only AWS, services like Oracle and Alibaba have the same verification method. I mean, in one way, it's understandable, since people these days would create hundreds of accounts just to be able to make their GIANT SERVERS for free and resell them to inattentive buyers. Plus, you don't even get a free GPU from AWS. But hey hey hey, not so fast. Before we dive a bit more into this video, we need to set some ground rules. AWS, so Amazon Web Services, is a subsidiary of Amazon providing on-demand cloud computing platforms and API to individuals, companies, and even government. This provider is overused, like Oracle. There is a huge chance where you have to wait a long time before getting the best out of your free account. So Kevin, what's the solution? How can I train my AI with a GPU for free? Well, little Timmy, don't you worry no more, because today we will dive into one of the unknown services that Amazon provides without needing the credit card to start. Hey everyone, it's Foxy. Let's get started. Disclaimer. You're gonna have to watch this video until the end because if not, you're not gonna have enough information to proceed to the next steps and you'll be stuck and you'll put bad comments and I will cry. All right, so AWS SageMaker is the website we're going to talk about today. So, it is a fully managed service that provides every, dev every developer and data scientist with the ability to build, train, and deploy machine learning models quickly. It's an incredibly powerful tool, especially if you're interested in AI and machine learning. I'm going to show you later on how you can even download Olama and train your own AI using all the free models out there. So. Um, AWS SageMaker Studio Labs provides a free tier without no credit card requires and let's sign up right now. So here you would have to put something like your email, you're going to have to put your first name, your last name, your country, uh, you will not have to put your company or organization, you can put if you want to, you have to put uh, what your uh, what's your occupation, why you're interested in it and I have no referral code, there is no referral code and we're just going to submit the request there you go okay here we are a month before uh here's the email i received with the account request approved here we're gonna have to put back my email that i've used and put my password and i'm just going to enter using it. that is foxy2 in this case after we have to verify if i'm not a robot so i have to choose all the beds that was really hard let's be honest i almost missed oh my and so after they're going to verify my email that was instant this time there we go so i'm just going to verify the email and after i am uh, it what i'm going to have to do is this time connect using uh, my email or my username that i choose this time around my password and i'm going to just sign in there we go and so now we're back in the future and so as you can see, I have my project with two kind of compute types and a runtime. So let me explain. AWS is a free service and unluckily like all the other services you have for our runtime. But you get a GPU and I'm going to show you how to get a GPU. All right. What we're going to do is that you're going to have to click on the bottom GPU, use GPU. I've used it for seven minutes. Oh my, boom. We're gonna start the runtime right here. It's gonna ask you if I'm a robot or not. I am a robot, so I'm not gonna be able to pass this capture, luckily. Um, so sometimes it's gonna say there's no runtime available right now. And there's a way to fix that. All you have to do is launch a CPU runtime. When it's launched, you stop, you run GPU, and it will automatically work. It worked every time. I think that is because they have no more GPUs available directly and they just keep them in reserve. So what I just do is that I restart clicking on GPU, as you can see, and this time it's going to stop. And it's going to reload using, I guess, a reserve GPU. And this is why it's working. And I don't know for sure, I'm just expecting, 
All right, don't say rah, 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 rah. it's not this, it's not that. Maybe it's not that, as you can see, this time it didn't work. I'm gonna cry. But after doing it a few times, it will work. Okay, so it took a bit of time, but we are finally in with the GPU and we can start to open our project, All right? So, um, SageMaker offers an NVIDIA Tesla T4. That is great testing. Um, AI. So um, for this, we're going to give ourselves root access. What I, what I have done, if you want as well root access, uh, it's not a real root. It's not a real root. Come down. Right. And don't lawsuit me. It, a, uh, it's called fruit and it's, um, it's a kind of a virtual root inside the machine. You're not going to get any, uh, like it's not a real root. It's not going to get actual access, but you'll be able, for example, to after running this, You'll be able to do APC updates, you'll be able to install packages, do things, and it's much nicer overall. Um, so nothing illegal. Don't sue me. Uh, so here uh, I can do NVIDIA SME. Wait, doesn't work. Okay. Uh, it's around. I'm just going to do a new fetch, and you'll be able to see NVIDIA test uh, T4. Uh, so, and uh, we have two different oh yeah i'm gonna have to start two i'm gonna start a llama first as so okay and now i'm gonna do my list i just put two mistral mistral's a mixture and uh yeah mistral latest and mistral new so i'm gonna do a llama run mist mistral latest so um, downloading it is really easy. There's not a lot of storage though. I think there's only like 10 gigabytes of storage on here. So you won't be able to run huge models on that. Uh, because I wanted to install the 123 gigabyte one. It doesn't work. So it was a bit sad. All right. So it was quite quick. And so here we can say, hello, man. How is it going? He's going to reply that he's not on the AI. So no. Is an AI, not a human. As you can see, it was really fast. And I'm going to say uh, make an entire script for a YouTube uh, video on YouTube about AWS SageMaker, a free uh, service providing um, a free service. There you go. So as you can see, it's really fast, uh, works really well. Um, so you get four hours per day per account, of course, limited to one account, I guess. I don't have any other ones that I've never actually tried. Of course, I'm not going to say it a million times. Do not mine on these servers. They are free for a reason. It's to let people test and have fun. So I really do not it. I really demand you i'm begging you i don't i, I don't know if there's an anti-mining i hope there is one uh and anyway it's amazon so i guess they did things right so please do not mine on these servers they are free for a reason is to be able to be able to they are free for a reason is so that people can experiment they can train AI, they can have fun with their friends so there we go, I have explained to you how to get a free VPS with GPU without any credit card. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, it always helps me out and I'll see you for the next video, ciao bye.